Heck y'all, Maple Man here. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome back to part six of my gameplay that I call Arneck County. And my hat is giving me trouble, I tells ya. So, I'm not even gonna bother to fix it. <laughs> and I can't talk like this anymore. <laughs> In the last part, um, we did a whole bunch of stuff. It's been a little while since I played this game. All I remember really from the last part was that we did a lot. <laughs> but mostly it was about mama, finally. So I thought in this part, what I want to do is I want to try to concentrate on the colonel. They are the older two in the family, mama and the colonel. And before they go because it is somewhat of a timed game. I've been stopping time now and then just to, you know, make the story flow. But it is a timed game, and at some point, you know, they are elderly. We will probably lose them, so let's play their characters while they're here. So I definitely want to focus on the colonel in this part and then just go with the flow of the game. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any comments, questions, or anything you'd like to say, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. I do read comments, and when I can, I do try to reply. Heck, y'all, I think that's enough said. Peace and love. Let's play. So, it was only 9 o'clock on Friday night, and the ladies had a ladies' night out yesterday that went well into the morning, and I wanted to play the colonel a bit. So I thought Randy could take the colonel out to the Salty Paws Saloon, um, and then they could do other things. They're just gonna stop for one drink, because we know the colonel isn't much of a drinker, but we're gonna get one. So Randy's gonna treat the colonel to a drink. Why not? Boys night out. I would like, oh, perfect. I was just gonna say, I would like um, the colonel to make some, uh, friends some elderly meet some elderly gentlemen or elderly ladies and Go and <laughs> uh, just his randy's voice just threw me off um i'd like um the colonel to make some some friends so i don't know where he is oh and yeah he's oh ordering drinks together i want him to meet meet this elderly lady here princess gilligan Oh, it's Jilly, Jillilin, <laughs> except I'm going to call her Princess Gilligan, because who knows, hey, maybe he'll hit it off with her. Wow, okay, let's let's be funny, let's tell a joke about penguins. And then we are going to do other stuff here, because the colonel is not really a bar goer, we know that from last time, but I want him to make some friends. Oh, she's just, I like her, she's taking a little, oh, what the heck? That drink looks powerful. Okay, well, keep the friendly things going. Um, ask about her day. And tell an unbelievable story. I think the colonel will do that. What is Randy doing? Oh, Randy's decided to dance. Or he's going to the jukebox or something. Um, who else here? Are there any other older gentlemen or ladies? No, just the one. Okay, Randy, what are you doing? You're, are you asking where the jukebox is? Listen to jazz. Okay. You want to listen to jazz, expand your repertoire of music. Oh, there's the jukebox right there. Okay, he's listening to jazz. Colonel, how's the conversation going? It's 1030. Um, I think you made a friend. Oh, she didn't like something you said. Say something nice. Uh, show off your muscles, because you're confident. Oh, look at all the ladies that are talking to the colonel. That's fantastic. He is an attractive older man. Why wouldn't they be chatting with him? Okay, I think that's it. I think he's had a great time, but we don't want to push it at the bar. We just want to get one drink. And his elderly lady bartender friend, who I think he really got along with, just left. And I noticed the colonel is not a drinker. He didn't touch his drink at all. We're going to do a couple of things here because we're in Brindleton Bay and this just seems to be the colonel style. So they're going to go view this together. They're going to go view the anchor. And then I think we're going to go to, well, I'll tell you in a minute. All right, so Randy's here. Don't tell me the colonel has to run to the washroom or something. He's getting a little tired, but not too bad. Where is he? 
Usually when I say that, they're like right out of screenshot. Oh, he's coming. Yeah, the Colonel's just a little slower than the rest of them for some reason. So let's look at this anchor. Enjoy it. Ah, uh, the sea, the sea. Oh, he doesn't seem too happy about that. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the lighthouse. That's what we're gonna do. There was a boat that was gonna take us there. Here we go, travel to the lighthouse with Randy. Should we bring these ladies too? Why not? Oh yeah, Randy, when you run like that, you're definitely gonna like bypass the poor old Colonel there. He made some younger lady friends, which surprised me, but, or not what necessarily what we were going for, but that's okay. So let's go check out the lighthouse. Okay, Randy went by himself. Okay, Randy, the Colonel is slower than you, but you could have waited for him and not taken the boat. Okay, let's get the Colonel here. <laughs> All right, so we are here. Um, so there's another anchor here. I didn't realize that this was dead grass, um, dead grass uh, discoveries, the museum. So let's go view that. And then maybe they'll sing together. I don't know why they want to sing, but uh, let's sing with Randy. <laughs> sing a song about the sea. Sing a song about the sea. They actually sound good considering neither one of them can sing and usually I'm like turning the sound off my earphones when the sings the sims sing even though it's not New Year's it's not New Year's and it's not really a song of the sea but whatever so let's uh, let's go up to the top of the lighthouse so is this it is there a lookout up here well, let's go here together well, they're heading up there. We can have a look at what they would see here. Maybe. Oh, okay. What else is around here? Is there anything else for them to explore? Because this is definitely more... Oh, there's a ghost dog. Captain... <gasps> Captain Whitaker! <gasps> Captain Whitaker, a ghost dog! Okay, okay. We're done with the lighthouse. <laughs> we have a new goal. Make friends with Captain Whitaker. Maybe we can adopt him. I'm in love with Captain Winokur right away. Colonel, you, you, you need this dog. Cautious intro. Oh, the poor fella. Don't go anywhere. Come on, Colonel. I think, oh, I think if you had a ghost dog. Okay, I, what have I done here? Oh, cautious introduction. Get to know. Oh, give him a treat. Oh, and there's a Cajun, an elder cat ghost. Oh, can we adopt you, please? Pet him. Talk to him. Play with him. Offer friendship. Give him a pet. Oh, this is so cute. We just gotta notice that uh, the Colonel thought Love Day was awful. Maybe not now. Oh, he's exhausted. <gasps> did you like make friends with him though? You did. <gasps> Oh, I love it. Oh, can you adopt him? And they're out till five o'clock Saturday morning. Colonel is exhausted. I don't care. I'm sorry. This is just the cutest thing. I can't. Stop watching this. Oh, this is so cute. I really, I wonder if we can adopt a dog ghost. I don't know. Let's see. Let's just try a couple more things. I don't think it's gonna let us though. 
Okay. Okay. Well, I think we're going to have to leave this part here, but we've made some friends. So let's go back home. I was hoping to do more with the Colonel, but I thought this, this was actually pretty great. Bye, Captain Whitaker. Okay. So we are back home. I'm going to bring the Colonel and Randy back. They probably both have to go to bed. Um, I'm going to bring the walls down. It's just easier to see. See how everybody's doing. So, Mama is sad. Oh, because of an awful holiday. Luann is taking a shower. Uh, Tucker is still tense from the fire. He needs social and fun. So, I think we definitely have to do something with Tucker today. He is hungry. I'm sure there's still a ton of food. Oh, my God. Look at all the food. Grab a serving of that. I don't even know what it is. Billy Joe, you need a bath, and then you're good to go. And apparently it's Talk Like a Pirate Day, which is perfect for the Colonel. I definitely want to play him a little bit more. Come on, Billy Joe, I need you to take a sh bath. Oh, there's something wrong with this bathtub. Okay. I don't know why they can't get to it. I think the bathroom is just a little bit too small. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to put, I'm going to fix it right now. Okay, so all I did was I expanded this area out a little bit. They needed a bit more room. It cost a little bit of money, but you know, that's fine. It was a little bit of a cheat because I don't know if I said it at the beginning in the intro to part one, but the rule is they have to gain $1,000 before I fix something. But this was something that wasn't working from the beginning, so I'm allowing that little cheat on my part. Okay, Randy, Randy, I need you to get out of there. Here, you go over here. You can wait. You can wait. There, you got a little bit out. That's fine. Take a bath. We need to get you guys going. And, okay, how long is your shower going to take? You're fine. Get out of there. Here, go uh, play with the tell a tale of the sea to your daughter. Oh, Randy's off to work. Oh, yay, you finally went to work. We're going to get some money. Tucker, how are you doing? Okay, you're just about done. Billy Joe. I don't even know where I'm taking these guys, but we're going to go somewhere. Oh, Mama's playing the guitar. And Billy Joe, do you have the violin? Yes, you do. Good. We're going to take that with us. I think it's Tucker's turn. He liked going to the university. He liked meeting that celebrity with blue hair. Um, so we're going to figure out something... Something... I know where we're going now. I know where we're going. It's the best to both worlds. So I decided we would go to San Mayoshino because I think there's something for everybody. I decided, you know what, Luann and Sue Ann could come along as well. I just want to make sure they're okay. Oh, Luann looks fine. Sue Ann is perfect. We're going to get her playing on something because she's a little... She is a whiz kid. Actually, she is a whiz kid, and she tends to just play on things. Let's see if there's something a little educational in here she can do. And I think Billy Joe would play the violin in here. Let's see. Oh, it's so fancy in here. I'm sure she could find something to play with. Uh, okay, there's a guitar up here. Ooh, you know what? She could read something. Luann... You're going to go play the guitar. Awesome. Billy Joe is right here. He's playing the violin. I don't even have to tell them what to do. You're doing exactly what I want you guys to do. And since it's kind of rainy outside. Okay. Yeah, Billy Joe, you need to get a little... Oh, yeah. Get a little better fiddling happening. I don't know if he's ever going to get better. I think he's like level three or level four and he's still lousy. You are going to read. And Tucker, who is tense... He is going to look at the stars. He's going to look at the stars in the observatory. Observe the sky. Oh, he's far too tense. Okay, well, is there something else he can do then? Is there something that'll, you know, calm him down? Maybe, okay, he's too tense to do anything. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's no good. Maybe he can uh, listen to the relaxing music. <laughs> There, sit there with uh, everybody doing their thing. Everybody's inside, everybody's enjoying themselves, but you, Tucker. Oh, okay, okay. Sue Ann is, is just, oh, she's tense from the fire too. I thought that was like a long time ago now. 
You just read your book. You're, you're a little whiz kid. Why don't you do that? And I'll look around for something better for them to do. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully their tenseness disappears. And let's see who all is here. They should make some friends. Oh, is that Liberty Lee? I think it's Liberty Lee. That is Randy's friend. She's uh, fixing a drink for herself. Oh, no, she's coming upstairs. Okay, I'm just going to see if there's anybody else hanging around. Anybody else for them to talk to? We got the food kiosks happening. It's raining, though. There's not a lot of people out and about. Who is this? All right. Paola McKegg. She wants to play basketball. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? Even though it's raining, you know what? Let's go outside. I think you'll have a lot more fun. You can play, uh, play pirate. Tucker, you are watching your brother. That's fantastic. But I think you should play pirate with Sue Ann. Actually, this kid, oh, look at this kid. All right, well, we'll come back to that. Maybe that kid will play pirate with uh, Sue Ann in a little bit. Go here together. Let's get everybody here. They're gonna play basketball. They're gonna play pirate. They're gonna meet people. Who is this now? Okay, you know what? We've got a sailor. It's pirate day, we've got a sailor, we got Zechariah McKeg. Oh, he must be related to uh, the girl that was playing basketball. But you know what? It's a sailor. Billy Joe, you gotta say hello. Ahoy me matey. That would be perfect, it's pirate day. He's a sailor. Billy Joe probably likes sailors, so let's make that happen. That's a bit of a stereotype, but you know what? It's just too perfect not to, uh, not to do the stereotype. <laughs> it's pirate day. They all have to do something pirates. Okay, what are you, where, why did you just stop? Oh, you're talking to someone. You're going to talk to, who are you going to talk to? Okay, I had the best laid plans for today here, people. I guess Billy Joe doesn't want to get into the spirit of pirate day and talk to a sailor. Oh, well, we tried. <laughs> Okay, there's a little kid there. You're going to the bar. Where are you going? How'd you see this girl from like outside and three blocks away? You're like, I gotta meet her. I gotta talk to her. Oh, she's a fan? She's a fan of his fiddling? Oh, and she's wearing overalls? Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta uh ahoy me matey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was perfect. A little bit of a hillbilly girl with the overalls, and she's a fan of his fiddling. Yeah, he ran to meet her. Makes sense. All right, you have a fan. That's awesome. Oh, what did he get on his aspiration? He's a city native. Introduce yourself to someone new in three different city neighborhoods. Okay, we did that. Now you're going to go have peas. Okay, are they playing pirate yet? No, they're just sort of standing there. Okay, play as the sea monster. Oh, that's so cute. I think Tucker is making a perfect sea monster. Oh, and there's a little kid over there. She should introduce herself to him before we leave, before everyone starves. Okay, there you go. That's perfect. That is perfect. I want to see that again. There we go. Oh my God, Tucker's a perfect sea monster. Okay. What is Billy Joe doing? He's just eating his bowl of peas. Okay. All right. Where did the little kid go? I want Sue Ann to make a little friend because I don't think she has any. I should check that. Where did the little redhead kid go? Okay, we lost him. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. Luann, go make a friend. This is uh, Arlene Bala. Oh, I thought it was a little boy, but it's a little girl. Okay, come on, Luann, make a little friend with Arlene. I think that would be perfect. Okay, she's running around. You're playing basketball. <laughs> Tucker's chatting with you. Okay, Tucker, I think you're feeling good now. Why don't we get you? There you go. Observe the sky. And Sue Ann, let's find your little friend who's just waiting for you. Waiting for you to say hi. 
Okay, don't call her trash. I mean, that might be, you know, a term of endearment in the family, but... Or more like, heck, trash, how's it going? Oh yeah, they're arguing. You called her trash. I know you meant it as a term of endearment. You're like, hey, trash, but she did not like that. Okay, ask for typing skills. Sure, actually, how are your skills doing? Creativity and motor and social? You're missing one. Uh, the thinking one. Oh, great. You're a whiz kid and you have, like, no intelligence. Good kind of running in the family, you know. Oh, well, that's okay. Complain about parents. There you go. All right. I like this. You're going to make a friend, and I don't think you have any. Arlene is like your top friend. The rest of the friends are your family, which is pretty sad. We have been neglecting this child. <laughs> Is Billy Joe still eating his piece? No, he's back to talking with her. I like her. She could be your best friend. Absolutely, absolutely. Discuss your favorite band. Talk about the cool temperature. You should compliment her outfit, even though it's a romantic thing. Oh, you can't because she's an adult. You can't do any romantic things. You can tell a tale of the sea. Wow. I think this is the most uh, charismatic I've seen Billy Joe at all. Well, that's probably because we've been having him talking to vampires and stuff. Now he's going to go play the guitar. Okay, I want to make sure that the violin is still in our inventory. It is. Okay, I think we are just about done here. Everyone's had a blast. I think we should get back. I want to do, play a bit more of the Colonel because I had fun with him earlier. I want to see... I wonder if you can call that dog over. Anyway, let's get back home. Okay, so it is much nicer here. Okay, Colonel's pretty good, he just needs a shower. So we'll get him in the shower. How's Mama doing? Haven't really focused on her. In this part anyway, which she's good. Oh, can she do any gardening? Is there anything to like harvest or water? No, no, everything's just kind of growing. That's fine. Um, Randy is home from work. He's hopping right in the bath. That's fine. How much money did he bring in? Oh, they have $700. Wow. How much money did he bring in? Oh, here we go. Randy brought home $225. I didn't think he was he, he would earn that much, but hey, way to go. Okay, so everybody's back. I'm going to let them uh, just sort of take care of themselves. I'm a little worried. Luann is fine. Oh my God. Colonel, are you still in the shower? Yep. Billy Joe, whoever's fine. Billy Joe's just a little stinky. Uh, Tucker is fine. Um, okay, you know what we're going to do? Colonel is going to, is he done with his shower? He's good enough. They're going to go fishing. They're going to go fishing. I know we do that a lot, but we're actually going to like pay attention to the fishing. So uh, four people can fish here. So let's... Uh, Colonel, actually the Colonel is not going to fish. He's just going to go here. And uh, the rest of them, Tucker is going to go fishing. Billy Joe is going to go fishing. Luann is going to go, Sue Ann is going to go fishing. And Luann is going to go fishing. I guess if I just get Luann and Sue Ann to do the same thing every time, I can't really mess their names up that much. So Colonel is, I'm, I'm just sending him here. With his slow gait. Billy Joe's going through a phase. He'll pick up an instrument any chance he gets. Yell off and turn all radios up to 11. That's fine. So I want the Colonel to mentor all of the, the kids. Mentor Tucker. Billy Joe is going through a phase. He just wants to play the, the fiddle. Okay, that's fine. If that's really what you want to do, you do it, kid. And you just, uh, at some point, you'll start enjoying it. That's fine. Maybe somebody should mentor him on the fiddle because it's not going well. Yeah, this is what the colonel does. He is helping the kids fish. Tucker just caught a guppy. But I want to see, what does he have to do? He has to mount or bowl five fish. Well, he has at least five of them. Oh, yeah. So let's find the nicest ones and we'll uh, mount them. Discus. Let's mount the discus. Um, oh, he's got a cow plant. <laughs> okay, we just gotta do three more and that's another thing done. What is this? Mount the tuna, sure. <laughs> he's got two of these, let's do that, that. And, ooh, I don't know what that is, but let's mount it. 
And then all he'll have is fish for a total of 10 hours, which is at six. So I think he should mentor Sue Ann for a little bit. Tucker can, I think he can go do his own thing now. Oh, he's still fine. He is still fine. Oh, Mama's friend is over. Mama. You got to definitely have a little gossip with her. Oh, talk about the sunny weather. Oh, and some fancy ladies here. I don't know why she's here. I can't remember Mama's friend's name. It was really fancy, or at least the last name was fancy. Oh, she's coming right in. Yeah, they're, they are buddies. Shannon Rabushati. Okay, and Randy's there, and this strange lady's here. And somebody just walked by. Okay. Mama's going to have a good time with her friend. I didn't think we were going to focus on Mama, but, uh, you know. They're buddies. They're buddies. I can see this. A uh, joke about politicians. Mama's like, you know... That orange guy, blah, 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 blah. I supported him all the way through. <laughs> but, you know, wow, there's lots of people just wandering about. Okay, let's check on the colonel. Oh, he is now mentoring Sue Ann. Eventually I'll get the two names right. And now he needs to fish because he only needs to fish for a few more hours. And he is just fine. Oh, Tucker, you, you didn't catch anything. Okay, I think you're... Oh, you did stop. Okay, because I was thinking you're starting to get hungry. Oh, 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 oh. They're in bad states. Okay. Oh, little girl, you got a fish. Oh, and she's fishing too, Samantha Sims. Samantha Sims. Okay. Very embarrassed. You wet yourself. Uh-oh. What the heck, Randy? Come on. Uh, I need you to stop what you are doing and take a shower and go to bed. Because, very embarrassed, Randy, I don't need you to get mortified and die. So, let's, I'm just going to keep an eye on this to make sure nobody walks in on him. Um, what else we got going on? Uh, Billy Joe's embarrassed because he doesn't play the violin very well. Well, that's okay. You know what? You could use a bath too, actually. Oh, it's Saturday night. You guys don't need to do your homework. So, you can take a bath. And, Tucker, how's Tucker doing? You're hungry. Okay. Have some food. Okay, Mama's getting along with her friend, which is fantastic. I just, I don't know why, but I love these two together. I think that should be the beginning of our next part. It is Saturday. I think I'll end this part very soon so that the two of these can go out for a Saturday night, another girl's night out. But Mama, as much as she didn't hold back in the last one, I think she'll hold back even less with uh, Shannon. How are you doing? How are you doing? Mama's got a good reputation. That's great. How are you doing? Seven hours. I'm just going to leave you there. Randy. Yeah, we're going to put you to bed soon. Everybody else is doing fine. Oh, I really wish Randy could have fixed her dollhouse, though. What are you doing? Who are you talking to? Where'd you find this child? Travis Johnson. Sue Ann. You come say hello to this guy. Don't take a nap. You need friends. I think he's like, why are you blue? He's just staring at Tucker like he's the strangest thing he's ever seen. And Tucker was just chatting away and I was like, um, you're not responding to me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now people can have a conversation. Tucker, why don't you, I, I told you to go get food. Okay, he'd rather talk to this little child. That's fine. Oh, the child is scared. Oh, okay, okay, go to the washroom. Tucker is fascinated with this one little child, and the child is like, nope, I'm out of here, blue guy. Oh, where's Randy? Because he's very embarrassed. He's uncomfortable. Uh, he's tired. Okay. Oh, he's still in the shower. That's why. Okay. Why are you still in the shower? Oh, you're done. Okay. Bunk down. Go to sleep. Let's get past this embarrassed situation, which actually looks like it passed already. Okay, good. Anyway, <laughs> just got a little scared there with everybody's needs and trying to take care of them. Why is... Oh, Billy Joe's just bored. Okay, that's fine. I have no problem with you being bored. Uh, maybe there's someone for you to chat with. I'm just sort of scanning the neighborhood. Wow, 
In the last few of my gameplays, not this one, it's been so hard to find other Sims wandering around. And in this one, they're just coming out of the woodwork, which is fine. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, look, this lady, she won't leave. Shannon's just like settled in. They're watching their program. She's like, that's my boyfriend, Thorn, on the telly. He, he and I just, we, we are an item. <laughs> and I think that's where I'll end this part. We are going to pick it up. Oh my God, it's 8.30 Saturday night. In the next part, we're starting with these two hitting the town. <laughs> anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Peace and love.